Hello, and welcome back to the Surfer of Adam. Slightly different today, I thought I'd try something new. So we popped on to Steam, and I found this called Morai, or Morai, I'm not quite sure, but it's only been done by three people. And on the Steam page, it said, "Our oh, help support art, and we've only spent a small amount of time on it, but we're very proud of it, and the reviews were overwhelmingly positive. So on that restart, restart, on that regard, I thought, why not have a look and see what it is they've got to show. So, first, thanks to the designer, Chris Johnson, graphics, Brad Barrett, and the music by John Osterman. Sorry if I'm pronouncing those wrong, if any of you actually ever see this video ever. I don't know you. So, without further ado, okay. Well, first things first, I've been told this game is very short, but at the same time, oh, I can't, I can only turn, I can't strafe. Talk to some people. Talk to mother. Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son. Oh, it's Julia. Ah, oh, it's lovely. <laughs> Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I would never let my boys go out of my sight. Hello, boys. Are you one of the boys? No, I'm not talking to you. Go away, woman. Oh, God. The controls are awful. We need to stay close to mama. Otherwise, she'll worry that we've run off. Okay, are you a priest? I'll talk to you last. Talk to the children first, eh? Should we talk to the children? Sometimes daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft. <laughs> oh good, well at least you've got something to distract you. My prayers go out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all, all day, really. And she hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she's grieving. Do you mind visiting her at home? It's the house to the right as you leave town. Hmm, fine, but I'm going to probably check everyone else's houses first. Enter the cabin! Woo! Okay, not woo. <laughs> this is meant to be a bookshelf. Yes, it's meant to be a bookshelf. Can I not use the mouse? Can I use the mouse to look around? No, has to be. The WASDA buttons. Ah, talk to the chef. It looks like a lovely day outside. You should spend it out on the farm if you get a chance. Spend some time with the animals. Well, if we can get to the farm. If there is a farm. If I, know, if I can find it. Oh, wait. This is the house to the right as you leave town. So we'll do that one last. None of these houses have roofs. <laughs> They're all just out there sat in the rain. Oh, that's not a bed. It's 2D. <laughs> You can't have a 2D bed. That's what Pokemon taught me. My uncle and dad are out chopping wood to keep us warm in winter. They should be home soon. No, nope, they're dead. They're never coming back, little girl. You live in this cardboard box and there's no one coming. Okay, only my house left, I think. I think this is my house. I assume so. Oh no, I have a boy. I heard there is gold in the cave, but I'm too scared to enter. They say there's a little boy that haunts it of... Haunts over your shoulder? Hope not. I hope this doesn't turn out to be some indie horror game. Right. There's a big arrow here, so... To the farm! Last house, and then... Well, this is the house the priest said to go and stick our heads in. Look at bookshelf. There is a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband, and young boy. I wonder where they are. Is it? I can kind of see it, like the brown stick, the white stick, and then a blue square, but they do not constitute people. Leave the cabin. Okay, I've got the general idea. To the farm. Wait, I thought I had to pop in. Never mind. The priest said to pop into the house on the way out of town, but oh, we're not out of town yet. Oh my god. Sheep! <laughs> Pokeball sheep! <laughs> uh, oh, they make different noises! Uh, 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 oh, I used to live next door to lots of sheep and cows when I was a kid in a fucking caravan in the back of the middle of nowhere. The door is locked to the barn. Oh, goodbye sheep! I like the way that there's no controls, but if you click on someone, you turn to face them, even though there's... there's, there's oh, no, 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 no! It's like a bloody ancient... No. Ancient computer going Y and N. The sheep move every now and then, I suppose. Come on, let me 
Let me buy. I mean, I'm loving the fidelity in the graphics. <laughs> These trees look lifelike. Where's this go? To the cave. Hello there, giant. Talk to Lumberjack. My brother and I... My brother and I were chopping wood when my when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. We sure have been back now. I'm worried. Can you check him? Oh, can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on that stump. So basically, go into this scary cave. Oh, I don't want the lantern. I want the fuck off pickaxe. It would be very useful. Picked up the lantern on the stump. Oh no, now I've got a little hand. I've got the lantern. Oh, yeah, fine. You're not that clever. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Is this the cave? Go to cave. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, you over here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was just like, we're walking away. So why take it off of me if you're going to walk past him? Did my brother send you? Bless. I'm... Bless him. The moans are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my foot, my sight's no good. You should take this knife. Who knows? You may need it. A knife? I don't know where the buttons are. Well, it's not right click and left click. It's not shift. It's not control. R, T, Y, G, W. No. Nope. I'm guessing I can't actually use it. This is really difficult to navigate because I can't actually turn. Oh, it better not just end with a bloody endless cave. Oh, look at bones. Someone must have died here. The bones look as though they are a child's. Okay. I want to look into the hole. I can see something shiny. It's just out of my reach. Okay. Okay, right, I'm with you. Do we need a stick or something? Oh, turning. Oh, God. I'm already lost because I don't know where I am. Oh, there's the brother. Right, so this way. I have to keep rotating on the spot to make sure I haven't missed anything. Ah, this is like trying to drive a fucking lorry. Lorry man. No, 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 no. Investigating caves. Look at tools. What a tool. There are some tools leaning against the wall. It looks as though they've been used to mark carvings onto the wall. Oh, wow. I see someone was down here for a long time. There is a book on top of a pencil. It's labelled Farmer's. There is a lifter's name and it's inside. Den, Kara, Bisman, Red, how eerie. Red? I wonder why. Who's Red? How eerie someone's been watching the farm town. Is that just is that just a dead rat? Fair enough. Someone's been down there a long time scratching onto the wall. That wall was covered in the um like the calendar scratches. Right, that's this is the old man. Yep, well, the old man, the brother. So all that's left is to go down here. No, I don't like this anymore. I heard moaning. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a sort of... Going on in the background. <laughs> and I don't like the fact I can't strafe. It's an... Oh, there is. There is strafing. That would have been really handy to know a minute ago. Oh, oh God. <laughs> All right, bro. You, you okay? A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Why do you have a knife? I heard bones. What have you done? What have you done? Oh, let him pass attack. Oh, God. Let him pass. All right, I will let you go. What? He vanished. I thought if I challenge him, he's going to fight me. I don't want to fight him, but I feel like I just skipped like the only piece of dialogue. 
Probably best you don't. I've got a feeling whatever he killed is blatantly, um, evil. Evil or... Oh. Honestly, this is quite good, considering how simple it is. I am pooing myself. I mean, if anybody got bored and went back to watch the Outlast... Vi I'll talk about it in a minute. Hi. You okay? Well, the dead rats aren't eating the corpse. Ugh! Please help me, I'm in a lot of pain. I came here to end my life. My name is Julian, I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in these caves and he spent days mining for gold. And then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. A nugget of gold. I thought we could retire and become comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me and they disappeared. Everyone in the turn town heard about our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. But he never came out. I went to look for him but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you help me end my life? Oh my god. So our, our husband um, found a bit of gold. And everyone went a bit mental over it. Basically even him. So... Gave up on his on his wife and kid, and then she's been trying to get by, but she, he's run off with it. So she hasn't really got any money, and the kid's gone to look for the dad in the cave, and gone missing. Oh no! I don't know. Cause what if her little boy's down there somewhere? I suppose she's bleeding out, isn't she? She's bleeding out, we're gonna have to give her a hand. I mean, maybe we'll do this again, depending on how it ends. I mean, I'm already, it's already piqued my interest more than I thought it would. Please, end it quickly. Ah, ah, stab. Ah, oh, now I've got blood on my knife though. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel like maybe that was a mistake because now I've got blood on my knife and if anyone sees that, surely they're just going to go, you know. That's, you killed a man. You just killed someone, it's going to go. Don't be so silly, you've got blood all over you. And we let the other man go, so, oh God, these controls. I want to leave. Ah, fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus! Farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Ah, uh, no way. Okay. All right. You've got me game. Why do you have blood on your overalls? She asked. She begged me. She begged me to kill her. She begged me to end her own life. Do you have a knife? Yes. I heard moans. What have you done? Nothing. Let me see what will happen to you. And that is where our story ends, at least for now. It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate, just as you chose for the previous player. Enter your first name. Adam. Enter your email address. I will cut this bit out, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> thank you for emailing your fate. Please, thank you for playing. Press space to submit your details. Okay. Wow! And that's the end. That's bizarre. So basically, that farmer I came across on his way out called Morai, he murdered her. So you don't know if he's the bloke covered in blood. So the farmer I bumped into was the next player of the game. 
That's very clever, actually. Get the next person to judge the person after them. So I was judging. So when the farmer came to me covered in blood and I went, what have you done? And he was like, no, 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 it's fine. That bit that he'd said back to me where it said, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to go. That was written by the last person that did it to tell me. That's why you got to type. That's a really smart idea. It's a bit weird now there's no music. So I'll leave that for yourselves to, for, to think about. Maybe we will do it again another time and see if anything changes. Well, that's really interesting. Go and support them. Download the game. Uh, it's free on Steam. And uh, me message them. Make sure they know that you support them. Little indie games need support. And especially little clever things like this. Because I wasn't ready for that. I certainly wasn't expecting it. No wonder it was overwhelmingly positive reviews. But... I'm going to go, well, it's a very short episode, but thank you for joining me. Leave a subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video.